guys, I'm Svetlana from Elmastery.com and in today's video we are going to read a little poem, let's say, maybe saying, it's a poem and they say it's uh, written by Omar Khayyam, but then I check in the internet, someone says that it's not his. Anyway, it will be just four lines, but very wise, very nice and uh, very useful and we are not just going to listen to it we are going to learn the words from this uh, poem and uh, do some grammar as we did with idioms um, so let's listen to it i will read slowly so even beginners can understand me кто понял жизнь тот больше не спешит. Смакует каждый миг и наблюдает, как спит ребенок, молится старик, как дождь идет и как снежинка тает. So, let's... Uh... Translate, maybe let's start with the verbs, with the vocabulary. And as always, I will start with the verbs. So take a pen and notepad and write, and we will try to remember it. The first one, понять, понять, to understand, to realize, to understand. Спешить, to hurry, спешить, to hurry. Смаковать. To taste, смаковать, наблюдать, to watch, to observe, наблюдать, спать, to sleep, спать, молиться, молиться, to pray, молиться, идти, to go. It's a verb of motion, it's a nightmare of uh, all Russian learners and we will do another video about it. For now we just learn. Iti, to go, to move. Tayet, to melt. Tayet. And the last verb, vidit, to see. Vidit. So all the verbs here in the third person. In the third person, someone, tot, tot, the, that one, tot. It means that one, the person, the one who, понял, жизнь. So let's start with some nouns, жизнь, жизнь, life, жизнь. We write ж and и, but we don't pronounce жизнь, we say жизнь, with и, жизнь. Life. Mig, mig, moment. Každý mig, every moment. Každý mig, every moment. Ribionak, child. Ribionak, child. Ribionak. Starik, old man. Starik, old man. Starik. Dožde. Дождь is a rain. Дождь. Снежинка is a snowflake. Снежинка. Here it's in plural. Снежинки, snowflakes. Снежинки. Снег is snow. Снежинки, snowflakes. So maybe now you can understand this poem or maybe guess. So, кто понял жизнь, тот больше не спешит. The one who understood the life, they... He doesn't hurry now. Больше не спешит. Больше не. No, no, not again. Больше не. No more. Больше не. Больше не спешит. Смакует каждый миг. Every moment. He tastes every moment and watches. Как спит ребенок. How the child sleeps. Как молится старик. And how the old man person. He can see beauty in everything. Как дождь идет. How the rain goes. We say goes, but it, it's... In English, we say how the rain falls. Here it goes. И как снежинки тают. And how the snowflakes melt. So only, the only verb used in third person plural, тают. 
In singular, it would be tired. So we have spishit, hurry, nie spishit, doesn't hurry, smakuyet, nablyudayet, spit, molitsa, idiot, tayet, and here tayut in plural. Maybe we can try to do it in the first person. I do it. Let's try. So, ja. Ja nie spieszę. I don't hurry. Ja nie spieszę. Ja smakuję. I'm tasting. Ja smakuję. Ja nablutaję. So, always ending uju. Nablutaję. Ja splu. I'm sleeping. Ja splu. Ja maluś. Ja maluś. I'm praying. Ja maluś. Ja idu. I'm going, I'm going, ja idu, ja taju, I'm melting, ja taju. So this was for third person. And I will read the poem once more and we are finishing, I promise you. Kto poniał żyzny, tot bolsze nie spieszyt, smakuyet, każdy mig i nablyudajet. Kak spit ribionak, molet sa starik, kak dość idiot. Thank you for watching video and promise me that you will try to learn it. Don't forget to like the video if you really did. Don't forget to subscribe and please, please leave some comments. I will be really very happy and grateful to you. Bye-bye.